Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I had a little something to say about uh, the astral plane and those who of our loved ones who have passed and uh, our concerns about uh, ascension and our loved ones. And I just I just like to say my feelings, my personal feelings about it. And so you may find otherwise, but th this is how I feel about it right now. Um, The astral plane is the fourth dimension, and Earth has already risen into the fifth dimension. So it seems to me, I've asked a lot of people about this, and then I might just let my intuition take over for it, and, and so here you go. Um, the, the astral plane, what our, our deceased loved ones are on, and Earth right now, they seem like the fourth and third dimension, but in fact they are they're both the fifth dimension now. So the, the people that think they're in heaven and hell in the fourth dimension, or purgatory, <laughs> aren't really. They just think that, you know, they have infinite creativity just like we do, those souls. And, and so I don't think we need to concern ourselves too much about that, about their future. I think, um, if we encounter them, uh, either astrally or telepathically, uh, that what we really need to do is, if we say something, just refer them to their, their guides who will take them exactly where they need to be, or offer them some, uh, some inspirational notion, such as chanting Om or chanting God Divine, or um, I, you are, you, you are infinite source, you are eternal soul, something inspiring. And because all they have to do is think it, and their whole reality will change no matter where they think they are. Same for us, too. So it's, it's quite an education here on what looks like three-dimensional Earth to, to actually step into our power and, um, and and co-create the future. So, that's a crawdad. I don't know if you heard him. He jumped up in the water and back down again. <laughs> He's saying goodbye, and I am too. See you later. Bye-bye.